So for today's review, should I review the Transformers Kingdom Commander Class Rodimus Prime? Or should I be lazy and not have a transformation in it and just do the Marvel Legends Venom? Briximus. Who's that? You clearly know that we have to review the Rodimus Prime. But the but I haven't done a Marvel Legends review yet. I need to do that first. But people watch Transformer reviews more. That's what gets you views. Yeah, but I want to review what I want to review. It's my channel. Just do it. No, screw you. I'm doing Venom today. Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime back for another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Venom Movies Venom figure. This is the only figure they've made of any characters from this Venom movie and who else to make it of than Venom. So I really like this figure but let me sh share with you why. So let's just get right on into that review by starting with that packaging. And now taking a look at the packaging, pretty standard Marvel Legends packaging here. Just got the big plastic window kind of showcasing that figure inside. Says the Venom, has the Venom logo there. Has the Marvel Legends logo right there, Venom logo at the top. And then some artwork of Venom on both sides. And then Hasbro, obviously, here on the back. Got a nice image of Venom right there with a bio on the back. The bio says, failed reporter Eddie Brock is hijacked by an alien entity that takes a liking to Earth and decides to protect it. Also known as Venom. So that's pretty fascinating. The figure here comes with a nice variety of accessories, two pairs of hands, and two alternate heads. The first head here is the classic one that he comes packaged in. It's got the nice black detail and he's got his tongue open. Very nice. We'll take a look, up close look at this one in a minute. And then he's got the closed mouth just the big old venom smile right there and this just is a this one just comes across as like really goofy and i just really like the way and i haven't displayed in this one a lot in a lot of goofy poses but i had and i've had a lot of fun posing the figure around we'll get into posability in a second and then he's also got alternate pairs of hands he's got these pairs of fists with that white kind of you know vein detail right there very nice molded and sculpted fists and then same thing with these clawed hands i like how these ones look very black and glossy and again it's got the white vein detail and i just really like the way how they how these came out so now getting into the figure and now here's taking an up close look at venom's head sculpt again very nice painting and sculpting there on the tongue and on the teeth i like how all the teeth are nicely painted some of the pink does bleed through and it does look a little messy but i feel like that just kind of creates almost part of the effect i also like how they got his gums right here and it really shows just how unnervingly big his mouth is he's got this like unnerving smile with the white eyes and they very nice black and glossy and my only issue with the head and this is like my only issue on the figure for some reason my ball joint is kind of loose so the head only has friction when it's looking all the way around but like when it's just staring straight ahead it tends to shift around on me and it does get a little annoying but he does look great nonetheless the head is on a dumbbell joint so it's a double ball with a peg in the middle it can like you know you can get some good posability out of it it's just because that one's loose but anyway shoulders right here it's got the nice white veiny detail no spider logo because again this is supposed to be what he's like without the spider powers but pretty cool, I would say. Very plain body mold, but it doesn't have to be super, you know, painted up or anything. So very nice molding and sculpting going all over. And then he's got his feet right down there. I don't know why he doesn't have any peg holes. I guess Hasbro didn't want to mess up these beautiful feet. And then he's got some butt detail and yada, yada, yada. I actually would really like to see a comic book, like, redeco of this figure. Like, I would like to see this thing painted up in the comic book style. Anyway, getting into the articulation, the head... Oh! <laughs> As you can see, there was the ball joint. The head can look up that far without it, you know, getting popped off. The head can look down that far. It can rotate side a full 360, and it can pivot ever so slightly. Shoulders can rotate a full 360. They can hinge out, in and out, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows right there. Wrists do rotate and hinge up and down, and that's on both the claws and the fists. Diaphragm joint right here at the top allows for some good rotation. Diaphragm pivot and arcing back in a crunch. And then he has an actual ab crunch, which allows him to arc even more with both the joints and arch back even more. And then 
His hips move outward that far. They can't kick forward. They can't kick back a little bit. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees. His ankles do move up. They move down. And he's got very nice ankle pivot. So pretty good articulation on this Marvel Legends figure. And now getting into comparisons. This guy's a little bit of a bigger Marvel Legends. So just keep that in mind. But first off for uh, comparisons here. Her, first we have... Hold, hold on. Hang on. Here he is with the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure Waves Carnage. Here he is with the Deluxe Marvel Legends uh, Venom, uh, Monster Venom uh, mo figure. And uh, this act and I actually still really love this Venom figure a lot. And then here he is with my last action figure review, the Doom Slayers Doomicorn and Phobos version. Be sure to check out that review if you missed out on it. And did I forget to mention that you can improve this guy's articulation if you introduce a stand? I am currently using a... NECA action base stand. And trust me, I had a lot of fun getting this guy into a variety of different kinds of poses. And that is basically it for the Marvel Legends Venom movies Venom. I really like how this guy came out. He definitely is worth the $20. Like, just saying that now. Like, this guy is a great display piece. He's a, he's a great playable toy. He represents the character well in both size and scale and in his articulation, and he just looks great. I have nothing to complain about. If I really wanted to complain, I guess you could have thrown in maybe some extra, like, Venom effect accessories in some way. But really, there is nothing to complain about with this figure. So if I had to give this figure a rating, I'd give him a solid 9 out of 10. And the only reason he just didn't get 10 out of 10 is because he just could have been slightly improved with that head joint, and really, that is basically it. I just wish he could look up a little bit more. The looseness doesn't really bother me, it's just that I wish he could look up more. And yeah, that's basically it for my review on the Marvel Legends Venom. If you guys enjoyed this review, be sure to give me a like on the video. Be sure to let me know how is my Marvel Legends review format, and uh, yeah, be sure to give me any constructive criticism in the comments, and uh, yeah, so you subscribe to the channel for more action figure reviews. And we will catch you next time. Ha, 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 ha.